This is our oil pump. Trick question. Does the oil flow from the left to the right through the gears or right to left through the gears? Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. Today we're going to be working on the oil pump for our Wallaby 30cc engine. We'll be making the body out of aluminum and then the, the fittings for the oil feed system out of brass. We will not be making the oil gears in this episode. All of the gears will be put in a series all by themselves. Did you figure out which way the oil flows in the introductory scene? I'll give you the answer at the end. As usual, the plans are available on my website, gregsmachineshop.com, for free. And the tool paths I'll be using to cut out the body on the CNC machine are available on my Patreon page. All the links are below. All right, let's jump to it. I started with a half inch thick piece of aluminum stock, cut out a small block, a little bit larger than the oil pump body, and then printed a one-to-one -one template that I could lay on top as a reference. I do this to ensure my workpiece is large enough and then I simply use the center point to zero out my X and Y axis on the CNC router. I use a quarter inch flat end mill for all of the machining except for the holes. And for them, I use a 332nd flat end mill. This is really a fairly straightforward tool path. There's only a couple of levels. So it's really just one step beyond cutting profiles. I use a 332nd flat end mill to do what is essentially a drilling operation. My CNC router doesn't have the downward force required of drilling. There's a surprising amount of force required to just drill a simple hole, but for me, a flat end mill works very well. But it does take a little longer than a drill bit would. Then it's over the mill to drill and tap the oil entry and exit holes. The process is familiar by now. We edge find, then center drill, drill, and then tap. The oil pump cover is very simple. We cut this out on the CNC router. It's a circle with five mounting holes and a couple of pivot points for the oil gears. And finally, we need a set of barbed tube fittings. This will connect our oil pump to the sump and the crankcase. I suppose we could just go down to the hardware store and buy these, <laughs> but what's the fun in that? I load a piece of brass into the lathe, turn it down to the largest diameter, and then turn the end that will be threaded down a little bit further. Then I thread the end. The hole down the middle has two diameters, so I drill each in turn. Then I turn down the two sections to the quarter inch to match the inside diameter of my oil tubing. And finally, I turn my attention to the feature that gives the part its name, the barb. I set my compound to 11.3 degrees, which is the angle of the barb. Okay, well, maybe not that accurately. I set the compound to a little bit more than 10 degrees. How's that? Then it's over to the mill to machine the hex nut feature. I use a hex collet block to make this quick work. Once the Z height of the mill is set, cutting the six facets of the nut goes quickly. Then it's back to the lathe for a little cleanup with a file and a deburring tool. And then we part the hose barb off. The drive to the hardware store would have taken longer than it took us to make them, right? So here's our oil pump mounted on the front of the engine. 
we take off our cover and the gasket, you can see our gears here. The crankshaft turns clockwise looking at the engine from the front. The oil comes in this lower fitting, comes into here. Now the oil cannot go through the gears because their teeth mesh and there's no space. So the oil goes around the gears. So it was kind of a trick question at the beginning. It does not go through the gears. The oil actually travels around the gears through this space here and down below, travels up this channel here, and then out this hose barb fitting here. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get me a couple of O-rings put in here. But that completes our oil pump. Congratulations. The engine's coming along nicely. Well, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me and my machine shop. Until next time, take care.